Hey there, are you new around here? So am I. Don't be shy, step inside. It's good to have you here. You're in the right place. You're in my English space. Let's have a cozy little chat about English in English. I'm sure you're gonna like it. But for this, I need you to close your eyes. Yeah, close your eyes. Come on. Good. Now, look further away in the distance. Do you see the door over there? Yeah, the big white door. Look at it closely. Come on, more closely. Do you see the letters on it? Can you see what it reads? It reads English in big letters. If you walk through, you will be really lucky to discover a magic world behind it. It's a world full of color, joy, surprises, and rich in experiences. Be brave enough to open it. A door opens a lot of opportunities, isn't that true? It sure does. Let's open this door called English together, shall we? Come on, let's do it. Today I'm going to share with you four other little secrets that will make your journey more interesting and worthwhile. This means it will be worth the time and effort that you spend on it. So, let's see. My first important secret that you have to keep in mind very well is test your limits. Limit isn't a bad word, is it? It may sound so, though. When I say limit, I have in mind the image of a person standing at the traffic lights and waiting for the green color. He is waiting to cross the street. There's nothing wrong in having to wait at the traffic lights, is it? This is a limit, but it doesn't mean you're going to stay there forever. When red changes to green, you can walk again. So, no more limits. Just do it. You can cross the street now. Limits may sound challenging, but they're only the beginning and the ending of a beautiful, wonderful, awesome journey. Let's take, for example, this blank sheet of paper. It's still got limits, right? You start writing and writing and writing until you get here. You get to the bottom of the page. So, are you starting to feel uncomfortable, worried? Angry? Oh no, why should you? What if you run out of space? You can turn it over. Don't worry, grab another one. You will never run out of space for good. You can cross the line. Unless you try, you'll never find out. So, don't be afraid. You mustn't be afraid. Put yourself together. Remember that your potential is hidden within those limits. A huge potential lying there between the beginning and ending of this journey. Start exploring your potential right away. Don't put it off until tomorrow. So, grab this piece of paper and write on it right away. I want to learn English. My second secret for you today is trust yourself. Who else do you think will do it for you, if not yourself? No one. You have to be your closest friend or the best version of yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. You are amazing. You have what's best in the world. Find at least one quality that you're proud of. You are clever. You are kind. Imaginative. You are generous. You are what you want. Clear your mind of self-doubt. Take a deep breath and learn to appreciate yourself. Learn to value yourself even more than before. But this is not enough on an English journey. That brings me to our third little secret. Practice. Practice every time you have the chance. First off, I know there must be something good about your English. What can this be? Your sweet accent? 
maybe your really good pronunciation? Wait a second. Is it your easy understanding of movies on Netflix? Oh, no, no, no. It may be that whole bunch of words that you've picked up from video games on those many sleepless nights. Whatever that is, remember to maintain and moreover improve your level of English by practicing all the time. So, keep in mind, practice makes perfect. That's really important. Practice can be taken under the following steps. Reading books and magazines in English. Listening to songs in English. Watching films with subtitles. Taking extra lessons. Keeping an agenda with your progress of English. Really, it can be anything. Take my extra tip. Shadow. Shadowing, or the imitation technique, helps with pronunciation. By imitating speakers of English, you will learn how to join words together and get your intonation right on sentence level. Long story short, you will become more confident when you speak in English. So remember, shadow, 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 shadow. <laughs> now, let's get on with our last but not least tip. It's keep going. That means you should never stop from your journey. Education is a big part of your personal growth. Invest in it. It's so important. I'm sure it will pay off in the end. There will also be ups and downs because, as you know, life is a roller coaster. An adventurous ride on a roller coaster with its ups and downs. Ups and downs. Stay focused. Keep yourself active in learning English. I hope you enjoyed our little chat today. It was nice talking to you. Thanks for watching. See you again the next time. Bye!